So let's write some failing tests then that fail because we don't have the ordering that we want. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create one that expects that our rides are listed by date. And we're going to create one that expects that our rides are listed by our, our service. We could do it by church or whatever. I, I'm just trying to show two different orderings that we want to be able to support. And uh, what we need to do in order to support this is uh, we're, we're going to do let bang because we need to make sure that we create things in our database in a per specific order because we want to have some sort of belief that our test is not accidentally passing. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a ride and we're going to set its date uh, to the 19th of October and we're, we're creating that first and we're calling that middle because we're going to have two more rides. Uh, we're going to create this one that's called last and we're going to create them with dates in specific times so that if the, the database just returns them in the order that they were created then we will get a, an error and it has to be returned uh, in a very specific order and so uh, I'm also doing it so that if it's returned in reverse order which conceivably could be an ordering that the database might naturally do by default that we're also going to have an error so I, I have three dates here and uh, I put the the one that should arrive first I create it last the one that should r display second I just create it first and the one that should uh, display third in the middle so there there's a it's unlikely that these three elements if we don't do something specific are going to be displayed in uh, the order that we want them to for this test. So I've created them. The let bang is important because if we just do let, remember it's lazily created and it will create these elements when they're first described and we're going to uh, or use those variables and we're actually uh, nice typo here, uh, we're going to <coughs> describe them in, in a little bit in first, middle, last order and so that would not be good. So we want to create them in this specific order and then expect them to appear in first, middle, last order. So the next thing we need to do then is we need to go to our rides path just like before but we need to be able to pass in a um, query parameter and we can do this with rails by passing an extra parameter to our rise path and that's just going to create a, a URL that looks um, something like order equals date uh, now this is the query string right here and so that's just clarifying which rides we what we want to do about those rides we still want to list the rides we want a listing of all of them but we just don't want to display all of them or in the same order or something so this is a becomes a parameter to our rides thing so that's what that is going to do for us so we're, we're still getting the same index action but we're getting some additional information from the user about how we want to index those values and when, after we do that we are going to expect to have our content appear in a specific order and I'm going to use a regular expression if you're familiar with those great if not they will be the very next topic that we cover so this is going to be kind of a motivation for them and and so uh, this might be a nice way to kind of say, oh, regular expressions might be useful here. Uh, but you can see, even if you don't understand 
the entirety of the, the regular expression, we are putting these in to a very specific order where we, we um, have our first element followed by our middle element followed by our last element right here. So we're going to expect them to, to show up in that order right there. And that is the test that checks for by date. So if we try to run this test now, we expect it to fail because we expect the database to return our data in probably the, the same order, middle, last, first, then, and we do get the fail. You can see all those 25 rides that showed up and we see <coughs> that they didn't uh, show up in, in the order that we wanted, which is great. That's, that's what we expect. I am going to then for this by service, I'm going to use this as a, a template and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to create two more things. I'm going to create uh, two services. Uh, our first service and I'm going to assume that it's first because it's automatically incremented by our database. Uh, maybe we have a, a better way to, to order them, but for right now let's just use our IDs as our ordering mechanism. And so what I'm going to do is create these two services here uh, and I am going to make this a little bit more readable and so I'm going to connect the middle to service 2. I'm going to connect the last to service 1 and I'm also going to connect the first to service 1. And then instead of ordering by date here, I'm going to order by service. And now, as a result of that, I don't expect the, them to be in this order anymore. I expect that the first one I created with the first service is going to be last. The next one that I created is actually going to be first. And the last service is middle. This is a brittle test. It's not a perfect test because it assumes that the database will return the last element before the first element because it was created before the first element. Um, in reality, uh, we would want to have a more robust uh, test for that, um, but it turns out this will be good enough to display the idea and we'll be able to get this to pass and so um, this will be good enough for illustration purposes right here. And if we try to run it, we're going to see now that both of these tests fail like uh, we expect. And, and so because of that, we're ready to begin tackling fixing these broken tests.